Fres Veruku. I could only pronounce it in a Japanese style, but even then, that's a mouthful. As you've already guessed, today we'll be reviewing the Fres Veruku, the self proclaimed strongest frame arms girl. So, without further ado, let's get into it. And here she is! When I first saw her, I was a little surprised at how much equipment she was carrying, but you can really feel that power oozing out. The origins of the name Fures Veruku comes from Norse mythology. It references the giant that takes form of a giant eagle, and when this giant beats its wings, it causes wind to form. And I suppose that name is well earned by this Raymond's girl. Therese Velga represents the culmination of the Frame Arms Girl line. In the anime, she was on a completely different power level. At her hands, Gudai suffered her first defeat. The Therese Velga comes in predominantly purple and grey colour scheme. The clear blue parts add a sense of dynamism not seen in the other Frame Arms Girls. And even for a straight build, the colour separation is excellent and makes her stand out. To emphasize her flight capabilities, careful attention was paid to the design of the engines. And her frame was made as aerodynamic as possible. Really impressive stuff, right? Her main weapons are two long rifles, allowing her to strike down her targets from long range. They even double up as melee weapons in a pinch. And when she's not in battle, she can mount them on her knee pods. Compared to other Frame Arms girls, she may seem a little bit bulky, but that doesn't mean her possibility is limited. Together with the included MB42R Flying Base R, you can easily replicate any number of flying poses. And since it uses the universal 3mm adapters, you can freely use it on your other FA girls. And if you want to make her a little bit more casual, you can change out her arms and legs. Even an alternative chest piece is provided. Without her armored parts, the beauty of the Ferez Velga takes center stage. Her striking blue hair and red eyes portray a sense of calm. Her bodysuit is reminiscent of a swimsuit, and they really went through the trouble of making her curves stand out. She's really gorgeous, isn't she? You will also get a blank faceplate, so you can customize with your very own decals. Using parts of the suit, you can also equip her with a pair of blades, and even a handheld cannon, proving that she's no pushover ever. With a little effort, you can transform her suit into a vehicle. Whether it's a wave rider or an air bike, she really knows how to travel in style. You would think given how strong Ferez Verugo already is, she couldn't possibly get any more OP. Well, somebody else thought otherwise. Here's Ferez Verugo Alta. In the anime, Ferez Velga undergoes a dramatic transformation, becoming the Ferez Velga Ata. With a renewed emphasis on melee combat, she strikes down her opponents with ease. At the same time, she exudes elegance and grace in every step, making her a truly remarkable F8 girl. And no effort was spared in embodying that same spirit in the model kit. The main attraction of the Ata version is the polarized clear parts. Under different lighting conditions, the crystal clear blue turns into a rainbow of colors. Really eye-catching. But that's not all that's changed. Ferez Alta comes with new face plates, showing off both her confident and emotional sides. Aw, don't cry. To complement her new hairstyle, Kotobukiya has included two types of hairbands. 
The double joint version greatly expands on the range of movement of her twin tails, making even more poses possible. Her main weapon, the Barrel Smasher, has been replicated in painstaking detail. You can adjust her huge blades in almost any position. To compensate for the weight of this huge weapon, a new forearm part has been added, making it a breeze to pose the Atha with the Barrel Smasher. And of course, her power suit can transform into the Wave Rider and Air Bike modes. But her Barrel Smashers make it seem like a different beast altogether. If you're looking for a little bit more, both of them come in the Clear Parts A Pen version. They are perfect for those looking to customize. The boxes may look similar, but they differ in color gradient as well as the pen extensions. In the append version, you'll find an additional set of Clear Parts. But this time, they are colorless. So you can freely paint them in any way you want. Also, you get an alternative color hairpiece. So you can mix it up a little. You'll also get another set of blank face plates. It might take a bit of effort to build your Fures Velga, but trust me, she's worth it. And if you can't get enough of her, Kotobukiya will be releasing the Rufus version at the end of this year, so please keep a lookout for that. Next time, we're finally getting to Kenny's custom build, so please stick around for the big reveal. You won't be disappointed. I'm Estelle, and I hope to see you guys all soon. Bye guys!